Hey, what's up everybody? Today we finally get back into the cargo trailer to do some work. Uh, today we're going to be sanding the floors and giving them a coat of paint. That's what's up next on Cricking Around. So what's going on everybody? So today we are going to be sanding and coating the floors. Uh, it's been a while since we've done anything on the, the cargo conversion. You know, pretty much a lazy winter. You ain't going to lie about it. So what we're going to do today, we're going to sand, we're going to get, we have uh, tire marks and stuff like that. See my nice tire marks back there on the wall. But we're going to get all that sanded up. And then we were going to do an epoxy, but I decided, I opted not to actually, because reading the instructions said when it takes to wood, it might not adhere that good. So we just got a garage floor paint that we're going to use. It should do pretty well. It should flex just enough to where we have no problems with it. So let's get to it. We're going to start sanding, then we'll get to the paint. I forgot to mention also, the reason we're doing this is because, A, to get all the stains from the tires and stuff up, but mainly just to rough up the surface a little bit. I don't want it to be too smooth, so that way, you know, the paint maybe don't take as well. You rough it up a little bit, it'll have a little bit more for the paint, uh, somewhere for it to grab into. So, back to sanding. Alright, so now we got it all sanded up. Uh, it all looks really good. Got the top layer of the Gets the wood pulled off so we our paint will soak in really good stick really good we're gonna put three coats on we're gonna start with the first one which should soak in quite a bit won't take too long to dry then we'll do the second coat which will be really good and the third coat will just seal everything in really good so let's get to the painting oh and by the way the paint i'm using i said it was a garage paint i was wrong it's a porch and patio paint it's meant for outdoors, meant for wood, and meant for um, like walking on and everything like that. So it should be a pretty good paint for in here. I hope at least. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? So it's the next morning. Uh, we got, you can see we got the whole thing painted. It's got just from sanding it, it's got like a, a furry feel to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with uh, some 100 grit uh, sandpaper. And then we'll get a second coat on. I thought originally, I was thinking it was gonna take three coats. That first one was gonna soak in uh, really bad, but it actually did it. It took really well. So I'm thinking only two coats on this one is gonna do pretty good. So we'll get her sanded up and get the next coat on. Welcome back everybody. Uh, it's actually been a couple days since I got this finished. I had some other stuff come up I had to do, work and some other projects. But I did end up putting three coats on it. The first one went good. The second one made it all right. But then the third really gave it the shine and sealed it in. Now this is um, porch and patio paint. Like I said before, we didn't go with the epoxy because I had heard about, you know, with the moving and attached to wood and stuff like that, it might not be that great. So I just went with this and it, it should hold up pretty well. It's meant for outside, it's meant for abuse. And considering we just drive the razor straight in and straight out, I'm hoping there ain't much problem with that. So we'll see. I mean, I, I don't wanna do it again, but if I absolutely have to do it again, I will. But. I mean, that, that wraps it up. It ended up really nice. Now I do still have to do around 
like I didn't do around my toilet and around my battery. Those will be done. I have to pull the toilet to put a different seal down in there between the toilet and the tank. So I'll get those coated really good whenever I do that. But for the most part, it came out really good. We're, my wife's actually in the shop right now painting. We had a, when we got it, we had trim that came up uh, about six inches around the sides. Then up here around the wheel wells, you can see a little bit of uh, putty or whatever right here. It came up a couple inches. So we're going through, we're painting those gray. We'll put all that back up. We'll do the retrimming, get our bed put back in. And then we're going to finish out where the toilet is, and then we're going to do the shower. Um, so I'll have another video on that, hopefully within a week or so. But we'll do the shower, run the, all the drains and everything, and hopefully get the bathroom part of it complete within the next couple weeks. Then we're going to move out into the living area. And we're going to be building just a little like kitchenette right here. Um, it'll be out to about probably right here and just up counter, countertop height right below this outlet then we're going to do uh overhead cabinetry right there and that plug is for the microwave has some overhead cabinets over here a little bit more storage down in this area and but it's only going to have my my fridge is going to be actually under it we got a it's like a college fridge but it's a little bit bigger it's not 12 volt just 110 but that's gonna go under the counter. Then we're gonna have a sink in the corner. There's gonna be no stove, no stove top, oven, anything. Uh, we do, we've never cooked in our campers anyhow. So we do all of our cooking outside, so we didn't see no point in it. It's all electric, no propane is gonna be in the trailer at all. Um, eventually I'd like to do solar, but that, that's way down the road uh, to keep everything rolling. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I said it came out really good. Um, stay tuned for hopefully the next week or two. I get you another video out of the finishing up the bathroom. So until then, if you like what you're seeing, how about hitting that like, subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It really help the channel out. So until next time, see ya.